And now, time for my theme song. It's a rat game! Yeah! Click to subscribe. You know, I don't like when people do that in a video. I don't want you to tell me what to do while I'm watching a video. Like, I'm already watching you. Don't tell me to click somewhere else. Jesus Christ. I'm a really terrible YouTuber. <laughs> Welcome to The Rank King, the show where I rank things. I'm your Rank King. Why am I the Rank King? I'm super judgmental and I love to put things in order. Today we are ranking cheap American beer. I'm judging today's cheap American beer on three different things. One, aesthetic. How good does that can look? Two, taste. Is there flavor? Three, chuggability. How many do we have again, 15? I just did that and didn't, wasn't even counting. I'm gonna be putting them in order from best to worst. If you disagree with me, shut up. I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. Our first beer, Bud Light. The golden standard of cheap American beer. It's like the red, white, and blue of every college party. You got the red Solo Cups, you got the blue Bud Light cans, and a lot of white people. Ooh. This tastes like water to me, but like really good water. Chuggability. So smooth, so easy. God, I've chugged so many Bud Lights in my life. Bud Lights are like, Michaels. You probably know a million Michaels. Really, just the most average. Sorry, Michaels, but it's true. It will perfectly start us off right in the middle. If your name's Michael, please comment below if you happen to be outstanding. Miller Lite. Y'all ready for this? Ugh. It's like an audible orgasm, an eargasm, a beergasm. It's just the beer can you imagine when someone litters a beer can. Chuggability. Yep, totally chuggable. Dare I say I think this tastes better than Bud Light. They're both iconic, they taste really similar, but Miller Lite has a little bit more flavor. I would say Miller Lite one-ups Bud Light. Wow, already surprises galore. Coors Light. Please welcome my friend and yours, Keith Appersberger. Yeah. Keith, why Coors Light? So Coors Light helped me move here to California. I was the voice of Coors Light for some radio ads. Really? Yeah, I said, here you go, two Coors Lights. It's a taste as cold as the Rockies. Rockies are cold. Why do you think Coors Light is more beautiful than the others? Because the can, the mountains turn blue. It's also a little taller and skinnier than the other ones. Just like me. <laughs> I'd say Coors Light is definitely skinny fat. Uh, now, do you like the taste of Coors Light? Do I find it refreshing? <laughs> I think it's more drinkable because it has less flavor. They're, They're all non-flavor. Yeah, they all kind of taste like college carpet. And then the mouth is huge. You can chug this easier than any other beer by can design. Such a big mouth. It comes down to the flavor because they're all very similar. And I'm gonna have to put it below Miller Lite and Bud Light. It's fair. All right, thanks so much, Keith. All right, bye. Get out of here. Bye, I had a great time. That was fun, but he was wrong. Why? Because I'm the Red King. Get it, get it, Red King. Pat's Blue Ribbon, otherwise known as PBR. Everyone associates this beer with hipsters, but I also think of those old men on porches, you know? When they were like rocking back and forth in the rocking chair with their shotgun. I'm from Texas. Oh. Already I can immediately tell that this is PBR. It's a little weedier. It tastes like you're smoking pot. And of course, chuggability. It does have that hoppiness to it that makes it a little more difficult to chug. But because of its unique flavor, I have to place it above the big three light beers. I'm outside. Huh? I'm outside. You're outside. Rolling Rock. Oh, I caught myself. I do like how green the can is. It's very vibrant. Mmm. That is not good. That's got a real metallic flavor. It tastes like the can. Chuggability. People think that the number 33, which is printed on every Rolling Rock can, is a conspiracy theory. I agree. Illuminati. Keith, is there a joke for 33? 33, baby girl. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm going to have to put it below in our current ranking. Michelob Ultra. Ooh, look at this sexy can. This is a very unique beer can. It is long and slender. It looks fancy. I remember this beer growing up because my dad's an avid golfer and golfers love Michelob Ultra. Ooh, good pop. Clean, refreshing. This is delicious. It's really good. I'm surprised at how good this is. Really clean chug. I have to say that Michelob Ultra is taking the lead. Yes, it has surpassed PBR. If you disagree, you know what you know what it is, right? If they disagree, Keith, yeah. you know what it is. Yeah. 
What is it? You're right, they're wrong. They should shut up. Yeah, baby. Six beers in, I'm getting in it. Ranking is getting rank. Next up, simpler times. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty sweet throw. The aesthetic. What the fuck is going on here? This looks like a design your grandma made when she was trying to come up with a brand for her lemonade at home. Sorry, grandma, your taste sucks. This is the beer from Trader Joe's. Ooh, simpler times. Not so simple, are ya? A little bit of a herbal bite. Not as chuggable as our big three light beers, but the flavor does make me feel like it needs to rise above the middle of the pack. Underneath PBR but ahead of our big three light beers. Simpler times, look at you. Look at go, you go, Grandma. Next up, Steel Reserve. It's my boy, Zachary Kornfeld. We're the Denim Dudes. Denim Dudes, wearing jeans with Eugene and Zach. Steel Reserve is not just a beer, it's an experience. This is a whopping 8.1%. This is a heavy alcohol. I think this is our strongest cheap beer, right? Give it to me. There's so much fine print. You know, this is how they fucking get you. This is how the fucking legals get you. As much as I uh, have reservations about the aesthetic. You have reserve reservations. reservations. Wow. You ready? Yeah. Oh God, it's so good, right? I can say with confidence, you can taste the alcohol. You taste that alcohol. <laughs> yes! This tastes like mistakes. It's not chuggable. I don't think it's a beer for chugging. I think it's a beer for fighting. I'm gonna put it above Rolling Rock. What? But I'm gonna put it below Fuck you. Sorry, man. Whoa! It's just, it's just, it doesn't fulfill the criteria. This is an aggression. I'm right. You're wrong. Fuck you. Shut up. I'm just drinking so much beer and I just gotta go. Sorry, sorry guys. Are you hearing the pee? I'm sorry. Bush. Bush. This is some discount looking cores, am I right? I'm trying to cop that mountain action, that mountain aesthetic. You think your cores, Bush? You think your cores? That. Oh, ho, ho. shit. Keith. 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 I told you this would happen. Oh, I'm all wet. Oh, that's bad. So I have to say the flavor of Bush is not very good. It is truly the worst tasting so far out of all the beer. Bush is taking the lead at the bottom. I want a breakfast burrito. That is what I want. Keystone Light. This looks like a, like a graphic design student made this can. Mmm, music to my ears. I think we have another shitty one. Definitely chuggable. I can see why people would want to party with this, but it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> it will go towards the bottom of our ranking. Between a rock and a bush place. Pretty good, Keith, right? Uh, yeah. Between a rock and a bush place. Yeah. I mean, there's a mountain on it. I could say hard place because there's a mountain on it. You, yeah. Um, between a rock and a bush place. You know, it's not funny when I said it again. Next we got Natty Light, also known as Natural Light, but people like to say Natty Light because it's way more fun. Doesn't this look like a pack of cigarettes? We should start an ASMR channel. Where it's we just, should. Yeah, where it's just things opening. Me whispering. Eugene's about to take a sip. He doesn't like it. I feel like this is a convenience store beer. This is the closest to water we've had so far. Sorry, Natty Light fans, but this light is at the end of the tunnel. The tunnel being my ranking. The puns are getting progressively worse as I drink. Is this work, is it working for you, Keith? I think it's great. Do you like the show? Yeah, it's funny. Is it? the light wasn't changing so much, but. Look at my crotch. <clears throat> Natty ice, <laughs> natural ice. <laughs> it looks like a 90s tattoo. You want the natural ice, Clementine? This is Clementine. Come here. Does this look like it should be emblazoned on like someone's shirt in NASCAR, right? What do you think? You think this is a NASCAR label? Cheers. Bye, Clementine. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that tastes exactly like natural light. Mm. Not as chuggable as this. So I'm gonna have to put Natty Ice at the bottom. Emily, my light! <laughs> Emily, come on! <laughs> Emily! <laughs> you, Emily! You can do it! Use those shoulders! Here, you, can, you can do what I do. We are down to the last three beers. And of course, we're returning to the big three with Budweiser. It's Edward! Woo! Yeah! Budweiser, baby! What's the point of 
Get all these out of here. Whoa, oh, Ned! Get out of here. The order. Get them out of here. I don't care about the order, because there's only one beer that matters here. That's Budweiser, AKA America, AKA beer. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, bad behavior. Sorry that I messed up your <laughs> inferior beers. First, let's discuss. First, horses. No. I appreciate that Budweiser stays true to the classic font, this mm -hmm. whole like beautiful sort of retro uh, design. It's just like America. It doesn't have to try too hard and it still comes out near the top. This is the most American beer in America that's owned by a Belgian conglomerate. Chuggability! You know, it, it's it's a little thicker. The flavor is distinctly way better than Bud Light. Mm, it is, it's exactly. just better. It's just better. But it's not extraordinarily better that it deserves a first place position right now. Okay, here's my thing. Uh, you're wrong on that last point. I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. Okay, he's the rank king. But I'm gonna put it right here. Woo, good enough. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Eugene. Thanks, Ned's dad. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Go back to your baby. I'm gonna nestle my baby. We're so close, stay focused. Which is this baby. <laughs> Coors Banquet. You're gonna go to the bank and be quiet. How is Ned still a hurricane as a father? Can-wise, it is way more unique than the Coors Light. It does look dated. It's like it's from the 70s, which I like. It really does make Budweiser taste kind of basic. There is a little like hip shimmy in this course banquet. There's a little, little tongue pop. Not as distinct as this, but it definitely has a better flavor profile than Budweiser. I feel, because I'm right, because I'm fucking right. Bud Light is better than Coors Light, but I think Coors Banquet is better than Budweiser. Is that possible? Is it possible, Keith? Wow, look at this. Wow, I'm really fucking the the rank king. I'm really the rank king, y'all. I'm the rank king. I think we should move on to the final beer. Miller High Life, the champagne beers. And even if this might've been redesigned multiple times, this redesign looks like it's going backwards in time. It's simple, it's borderline ugly. And I think the champagne and beer is kind of a joke, but that's what kind of makes it beautiful. Ugh. So, it's a lot ahead. Hmm, hmm. 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 Clean, very light, no weird aftertaste. Chuggability test. Perfectly chuggable. Ooh, this is a high ranking one. But is it better than, oh, I wasn't expecting this. This has more flavor than Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra is smooth as fuck. I might have to place the champagne of beer in the number one position. Oh my God. Oh my God. That, that is so audacious. Now that I've put a preliminary ranking down, does that look actually quite even? Did I naturally put it in an even ranking? Wow, look at me. I'm gonna make sure this is the perfect order by going down the rank. It's time to close ranks. Wow, it does taste like weed. Oh, it's like vodka. I have to make a final decision, and here it is. This, in a lineup, tastes like I licked a robot's ass. So I'm going to change Rolling Rock and Keystone Light. Is that crazy, is that crazy? I'm crazy, I'm a crazy person. I am going to move PBR below Coors Banquet and also below Budweiser. I am sorry, PBR fans. PBR, as delicious as it might seem on first taste, is not as chuggable as these four up here. Here is the definitive ranking for cheap American beer. What else would you like me to rank? Sodas? Pie? So wet. I can rank all original 150 Pokemon like this. Oh my God. Like you don't even know. I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. Um. Did it, did this work? Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. Is it possible, Keith? Sure is. Are you sure? Sure. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it.